A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 20th May. On the front page you have this coverage on exit polls. It says exit polls predict second term for Modi. BJP will retain its strongholds in the north and west and make considerable gains in West Bengal. So this is the exit polls results with from you know, various news agencies you can see given here. Then below you have jobs were less of a concern during elections. So Rafael controversy did not register with voters. Uh, this is what the post-election survey has found out. Then on page 4 you have long-term plans to fight pollution gathering dust. So this is the article saying that despite having a comprehensive action plan for Delhi NCR, many measures still remain on paper. So this is coverage on pollution, air pollution in Delhi NCR region. On page 8 you have coming soon an all-seeing radar imaging satellite. So this is Resat 2B which will be launched by ISRO from Sri Hari Kota on 22nd May. So this is a satellite which is said to be the first in a new area of Indian all-seeing radar imaging satellites to be deployed after 7 years. So at least half a dozen as such will be launched in the near future. So they will add reconnaissance capability of India from about 500 km in space. Then this is AP ups vigil after IS claim on province. So Islamic State recently announced the establishment of a province in India. So intelligence officials in Andhra Pradesh are trying to find out whether the terror outfit has any conduit in the state. On page 9 you have Orisha plans to restore coastal green cover. So cyclone hit funny uh, as such. Orisha, it is now planning to plant above 1.3 crore saplings as per a 5 year scheme. And this is amnesty lens on abusive tweets against 100 women Lok Sabha candidates. So it is said it is not just trolling but abuse of human rights. So how women politicians face trolling on Twitter and other online platforms. Amnesty India says online trolling is aimed at threatening and silencing them and this must be considered a human rights violation. On the editorial page, the first editorial is count on democracy. So this is regarding how in India the polling has been concluded and now India needs to heal itself from the bitter fact-free campaign. And this is 10 years on. So this says Sri Lanka has not done enough to usher in reform and reconciliation since 2009. So we had discussed in news also how in Sri Lanka, the, after the elimination of LTT, reconciliation reforms are still wanted. The lead article, taking stock of Islamic State 2.0. So this article says that the belief in India and Sri Lanka that they are shielded from radical extremist tendencies needs a relook. So Islamic State you know, and radical tendencies are there, extremist tendencies in the countries. This has to be relooked. Is uh, A look from this perspective is required is what this article says. And this is not in the Mahatma's name. So it says the BJP is messaging on Pragya Singh Thakur's utterances and candidature is extremely sinister. When she said that uh, Mathuram Godse, who assassinated Mahatma Gandhi, was a patriot. Then on the op-ed page, you have the task of restoring democracy. So this is actually about how civil society has a big role to play in restoring institutions that form the bulwark of democracy. This and And this is platforms of our own. So this article talks of how to ensure that social media evolves to become an enabler of transparency and democracy. On page 12 you have EVM count along with postal votes. So poll panel says that VVPAT slips will be taken up only after the machines are done. So counting of votes is taking place you can see here. Then this is the coverage on election 2019 by the Hindu, it talks of the issues that mattered in an issueless elections. This is regarding, you know, uh, pe what did people say about various questions. You can say.
then on the international page you have don't want war but prepared to respond so this is saudi arabia king salman he invited leaders to emergency summit on 30th may after attacks on oil pumping stations of saudi arabia which have been claimed by houthi rebels of him so here also the standoff is escalating on business page here you have coverage on india's economy how it appears to have slowed down slightly in 2018-19 and here you can see the coverage on you know, the annual growth how uh, and the quarter wise growth shown here and this is the fall in imports over the months last few months of 2017-18 actually and this is regarding consumption how consumption has been faring and auto sales have also gone down then this is as trade war rages china sway over the us fates so political parties in us are favoring tough stance against china so recently auto sales also saw you know tariffs being threatened then there is no news coverage on the last page so these are the important headlines for detailed coverage of current affairs you can visit our website asia.com the pdfs for current affairs are available by the end of the day you can download them thank you